Mikey, that last game, you guys kind of came together as a line with Boquist and Mercer and seven points. What really worked so well in that game against Carolina? I think, you know, just that, them two taking it in that, throwing it on that, getting in, you know, five hole jamming, jamming pucks. And I think, you know, we work well. We're moving the puck nice, getting in on the forecheck, kind of supporting each other, working off each other pretty good. So. And then today in practice, that line stayed together again. What do you want to continue to do with that group? Just build chemistry, you know, try and, try and build off last game. Uh, you know, keep that energy going, obviously. Simplify and, you know, just try and, you know, create chemistry. Speaking of last game, a big win, and now you come into the West Coast. And Anaheim isn't the strongest team, so that can be kind of difficult to play against if they come out really hot. What does your team need to do from the jump to really take that game away? Well, we know they're, they're a skilled group over there, and, you know, they can, they can score goals too. So I think just, you know, don't take them lightly and, and, you know, play our game, play hard, and, you know, have a good start. Did your brother give you any advice from playing them last night? <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. And when you just look at the importance of this road trip, how critical is it to get as many points as you can when you're away from the Metropolitan Division when you're on the West Coast? Yeah, you know, you want to win these road games, and this is a huge road trip for us. Got you know all the all the Western California teams here, and you know we gotta we gotta win these games, get these points. What's the way that you guys all complement each other on that line? The kind of roles, and how do you think that chemistry kind of work together? I play play with both of them uh, a little bit, to, you know, throughout throughout the year, and you know, they're great players. They can make plays. They they want to make plays, and you know. We're all we're all centermen too, in a way. So we kind of know how to play that way. They kind of make it a unique situation. We've all like, like when you're in the defensive zone, who's divvying up where you need to go and where you need yeah, to yeah. sit. Yeah, everyone everyone's pretty responsible defensively too, so that that works out and kind of just supporting each other all over the ice. Thank you. That was obviously a lot of success with that line you had the other night with Boquist and Mikey. What is it about the three of you and your style of play that kind of complements each other? Yeah, obviously, three of us, uh, we like to use our speed, play fast, and um, all of us got that work ethic in us where we don't mind uh, putting the puck in the corner and going get it ourselves. But at the same time, uh, we made plays and capitalized on our chances, and it worked out for us last game. Are you guys fighting for who gets to be the center on that line? I mean, three guys that can play the position? No, no, Mike, Mikey can take the draws. He, he got, he's really good at the face-offs, getting us the puck possession right away. And, uh, but, but it's nice, obviously, one guy gets kicked in, we have guys that can go in and take them and feel confident in there. So, uh, you know, it's a good, good combination right now. Is it wild how chemistry works? I mean, you guys got kind of accidentally thrown together, and then next thing you know, you scored two late goals in a period and kind of rolling. Is it weird how sometimes certain guys play better with certain players? Yeah, well, I think just everyone here is, you know, we're here for a reason. We're all good players, and when you get in the middle of a game like that, and uh, sometimes it's used for a momentum switch, like change it up a little bit, and uh, in that case, you know, it worked really good. We went out there and had a great, great uh, last shift in the second and uh, finished off the third really strong, so uh, try it out again. You're here on this road trip. You obviously want to come in and win, and you're playing an Anaheim team that if you jump out early, you can really put away this game. What's kind of the main focuses for this team going into tomorrow? Well, I think every team wants to have a good start. Um, I think that's something that we've been wanting to work on and make sure that we... Um, you know, can try to. It's a, it's a lot more fun playing with the lead. Uh, you know, if you can pop some goals in right away and, and do that. So obviously, that's a big focus in any game. So if we can do that tomorrow, that'll be great. So we can, uh, you know, keep it rolling for this road trip. And we often hear that road trips are great to build chemistry with the team. How do you feel like this team now that you're at the halfway point really has come together with all these trips? Yeah, it's great. Obviously, you, you're traveling together. Every meal is together. Uh, pretty much, you do everything together. So it, uh, it's a lot of team things together. You know, you're going out going with the guys out for dinners and um, just every day on the bus showing up. You're not going home to yourself, having your night night at home. But um, I think it's obviously a good team bonding experience. Not bad to have in California either, huh? California, you can't complain. You come out here once a year and, uh, it, you know, it's fun. I'll see, you see the beach and uh, the nice weather, the palm trees. And uh, it's something that usually when I was growing up, you just see that during vacation time. So now when you get to see it during your work time, it's, it's nice. You're going to try to make it to the beach? Uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll see from the hotel. I'm not sure. Fair enough. Thanks. Thank you. Jesper, to see some of the secondary scoring come through in that game against Carolina, how does it show that this team is really trying to find that offensive formula with all four lines again? Well, it was great. Um, obviously, it was great to see some, um, some huge character in the team again coming, uh, battling from behind. And I mean, that those last two shifts of the second period was uh, really game-changing for us. So, uh, for the Merce and uh, Boki line was uh, was awesome to see and uh, great to see them coming through and helping us get the win. And you've seen both of them play several years. How have you seen them really develop in this season and potentially take that next step? 
yeah, I've seen seen obviously a lot from them, especially from Boki. We, I think from Boki, we really saw it, uh, in the la- in the end of last year that he really stepped up and took a big role for for us in the team, and uh, he's been continue doing that for this year, and it's been a uh, a huge part of our in our depth in our team, and uh, it's been a been a great player uh, so far for us. And I think the same with Merce. You see, Merce is is growing. He's in his second year. Um, it's always going to have some some up and down, but he he's a good kid. He continues working hard, and uh, as I said, he's an extremely skilled player, and he, he came through for us last game. When you look at this game against Anaheim, it's really important or great to get out to a lead early, but how can you play this team? Like, What's the formula to get ahead against them very early, even though they might not be the strongest team right now? You know, I think there's no obviously no easy games at all in this league, and we're, we're going to have to be on top to, uh, to really come through with a with a big game and a win in this game. We're we're gonna have to um, have our legs early, uh, play the game simple and uh, really stay with our stay with our structure and our, our details. That's gonna be key. They they have some really skilled offensive offensive uh, players in the team that can make plays if you if you're not there at the right time. So uh, we've got to stay on top of them and stay sharp and um, come through and playing our game. What is the benefit of having these longer road trips for the team bonding and building and just getting away with some of the guys because obviously you don't have as much opportunity. At, I mean, you can at home, but some guys have families and such. Not, but when you're on the road, you're all together. Yeah, it's always good to to um, spend a little extra time with the boys and, and all that stuff. And uh, I mean, you have the chance to, to go out to dinner and um, get to know get to know the guys you're playing with a little more and stuff. So um, obviously, when you're on the road, on the road like this, you're you're on the road for a, for a long time, and uh, it's some some good time with uh, with the guys are always good. And um, hopefully, we can we can make that play out on the ice too. Do you like longer road trips? Do you prefer like maybe a three game or? <laughs> I've always been a guy that um, likes to be likes to be at home and uh, enjoy enjoys being in on the home. But at the same time, it's always nice coming here and get some get some sun and stuff. So uh, I don't really mind that. You try to get on the beach. Get uh, I, don't, I don't know. The weather hasn't looked that great, but um, if if the if the weather gave me that that chance, I would have definitely been there. Thank you, Lindy. I know you talked post game. Carolina about that line that you put together with Mercer and it was kind of a mistake but what really worked so well how would you define that they were able to find that success well you know I thought they did a great job of getting pucks to the net uh, you know if you look on on two of the goals and then even uh, the Mercer the last goal you know cutting across the crease and you know going to a hard area to put the puck in so uh, you know you kind of put lines together after power plays or penalty killing and uh you know, they got one, and we left them out there, and they got us another one real quick. So it's kind of hard not to, to have them together. And just as this team is trying to get four really productive lines again and get that secondary scoring, how would you just say that the development is coming back to getting to that part? Well, you know, we're, we're getting pieces that are coming back in the lineup. So you, you look at uh, how lines can change from, from game to game. But... Uh, you know, our, our scoring has been going up, our secondary scoring from, from other people. Uh, we've been getting guys on the board. So I think if we can, you know, we can find that, you know, a goal a game or, or two goals a game every now and then, uh, it makes you a dangerous team. And with that trade, all three of them are centermen by trade. Does that add to the element of the lineup or how do they kind of flush out who's got which duties? And well, you know, I think what, what happens then is, uh, you know, all of a sudden, you know, our other line has, it, it pushes uh, Sharon Govich into the middle uh, where, you know, Bo and, and Merce and, and McLeod are all very comfortable playing in the middle. So, uh, you know, it changes the dynamics of your of your other line too. It does it help too because not that centermen are smart, any smarter than others, but they're, it's more cerebral yeah, they position. Claim to be. They, they claim, claim to be. They claim to be, yeah. yeah. So it's a goal thing. <laughs> So does it kind of help in that aspect as well? Um, you know, I think a line is dangerous when they when they can read off each other. Um, if they complement each other, uh, you know, with speed and with skill, uh, you know, somebody that gets to the net. Um, you know, and, and, and sometimes you just find that chemistry. We've, we've had that on and off uh, with different groups, and uh, maybe this is a line that uh, can catch a little fire for us. Is it strange how chemistry works? I mean, you throw... Three random guys together and it just works. And some guys you think it might work, but it doesn't. It's just the nature of the beast in hockey. Well, you know, I think again, and I said sort of this before, that most times two guys will stay together. Uh, it almost seems that, you know, you look around the league, there's always two guys, and then you're looking for, you know, a speed piece, a defensive piece, uh, a net front guy. There's always somebody that you're looking for when you're playing different teams that uh, can help you out. 
when you look at tomorrow's game, you just beat two really great teams in the Rangers and the Hurricanes, and the Ducks are at the bottom of the Pacific. So that's not really the strongest test. But how do you still keep your foot on the gas and forget that they might be considered an easy win and keep going? Well, we have to play the game the right way. We have to respect the game, play it the right way, um, know that it, uh, if you give them opportunities, there is still a team that can score. Uh, we have to play very well defensively, uh, which has been our strength. Um, we'd like to get off to a better start in the last few games, so we'll focus on that. That's good. Thank you. You're welcome.